All right, folks, good afternoon and welcome back to another episode of the Castaway Crew. For the last couple of months, I've been busy building camps and helping out where I can for a company called Killambara North Safaris. It is because of them that I'm able to make this video and the videos to come. You know, I'm incredibly privileged to be able to work for Killambara North Safaris and to be able to fish some of the rivers that I am able to here. And hopefully throughout this video, you guys will be able to see why. Where we're going to fish is quite possibly the last frontier of tiger fishing and maybe the new frontier. It has hardly been explored. We barely scratched the surface of what that river can produce. Come up on a new hole. There's been this pack of tigers that have been following the fly. Oh, he's right underneath it. Oh my God, he missed it again. Oh, oh, that, it went for the dry fly. What the hell went for the dry fly? Oh, and it broke me off. It broke me off. To everyone that's watching this, this is the first video and first recorded evidence of what I think being one of the best rivers in the world for tiger fit. He smacked it again! He smacked it again! Are you joking? And again! <laughs> Yay! There are yellowfish in there. Look at that! Look at that! And there's big, big, big catfish. Vundu. Oh my god, that's a big Vundu. My aim is to go out and just see how much river frontage there is. Just let him rest for a second. And there he goes. Oh. <laughs> it doesn't get better than that. Morning, folks. Um, welcome back. It is cold. Believe it or not, it got very, very, very cold last night. Uh, I don't have a, <laughs> I don't have a duvet or a blanket or a pillow for that matter, and I also don't have a mattress. The boys very kindly gave me theirs um, to use, and I've got. I don't know if you can see, but yeah, I've got in the way of keeping myself warm so it's a very 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 cold man oh good morning good morning here are the boys slept outside i am going to brush my teeth uh, have a quick little wash wake myself up and i'll be back with you uh, for the rundown of what we're going to be doing today and um yeah, the a general program of how we're going to do it. We'll catch you in a second. <laughs> <laughs> Alright folks, so, the plan of action is this. The gents are going to take the tents and basically all of the camp stuff up ahead of me. Uh, they're going to walk up to a, another sandbag like this uh, and they're going to set up camp and I'm basically going to fish up to them and we're going to do this in increments every single day. And I think what the plan is for the video itself is that we'll, we'll split these up into days uh, and different episodes depending on how much uh, fish actually get caught, which I presume are going to be a lot considering I only had 10 minutes of fishing down there and I had four or five fish. Uh, I realized that I hadn't introduced you to the team itself. So starting from, well, the camera's right hand side going left, uh, we're practicing English. So they're going to try and say their names in English. Uh -huh. And where, where do you work? Uh -huh. No, in the middle. Katsu Katsu in the middle. Uh huh. I'm 25. Uh huh. Now Arusha. Arusha, Arusha, Tanzania. Arusha, Tanzania. Uh -huh. My name is Radim. One is eight. One, eight. I'm going to that one for Tanzania. Tanzania, Kilo San Pepo. Kilo So there we are, folks. That is the team. Um, very, very fortunate to have them helping me because without them, I wouldn't be able to do it. Uh, obviously, carrying all this equipment is quite heavy, and I just wouldn't be able to, to do it without them. Uh, so big, massive thank you to them. 
Um, yeah, that's about it. Let's get fishing. Brent, if you're watching this, uh, this is your fly mate and it's absolutely killing them. Woo! Hi folks, I'm going to show you this fish real quick. <laughs> Pocket rocket. Um, Brent, this is your fly mate, cracking stuff, it's absolutely nailing them out here. Yeah? I'm going to get the hooks removed and then put them back. But an epic way to start the first day, official day of this adventure. Um, and yeah, not a bad start. Uh, I've caught a Brent's fly. I'll give you a quick show of exactly what that is. There you go, Brenty. Boom. It's off the mark. Hopefully this is going to be the trend for the rest of the day. Uh, folks, if you're enjoying this, stay tuned because I'm sure there's going to be a lot more of this. This is the other yeah, nine weight uh, with Brent's fly on. Clearly because uh, deep water can see a lot of fish rising and there could be, should be, uh, a big fish in here. I'm going to check out this left hand side of the scene first and then move over onto the right which will pose a bit more of a difficulty trying to get my fly out there but like I said with the amount of fish that are rising it looks amazing. Yeah, yeah, washa. Oh, ho, 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 ho. right. That was unbelievable. That was first cast and almost immediately. Oh! There it is! Oh my god, this is a big fish. Go with me. Ah! Oh, I'm in a serious. <laughs> my line's caught everywhere. How have I managed to keep this on? No! Oh, he smacked it again! He smacked it again! Are you joking? And again! <laughs> Yay! Three times! He's, this fish has been hooked three times and he dropped the fly and he came back and ate it! That is pure joy. I've got a knot in my lime. It's more the chaos. Yes, yes, I've got the line on. Okay, I've never seen that. I cannot believe that. He literally flew out the water the first time completely out the water and missed it came back ate it hooked him fought him lost him three times and he came back every single time to eat it again that's just next level come here come here i have seen a crocodile in this particular bit this morning oh too busy looking at the camera to see if you got on camera Yes! Woo! That is exhilarating stuff, folks. Exhilarating. Okay. Compose yourself, Blade. Compose yourself. Oh, I got it. And I cut myself in the process. Okay. I'm going to show you this fish really, really quickly. And then put him back because I caught him right down deep in the in the goblet. That is what he can do to you. Anyway, let's uh, let's show you this fish real quick guys and then we'll we'll get him on his way. <laughs> Pure beauty. Incredible scenes. Amazing fish. Let's get him back. We'll give him that. And there we go. Thank you very much sir. I don't know what else you could possibly look for as a fisherman than to see your fly being taken by big fish four times, five times in one cast and then coming up from clear but still murky kind of water, rolling on the fly and 
and taking it. Ask yourself as a fisherman if there is actually anything better than that. Uh, I don't think there is. Oh, folks, big issue. These fast attach clips that I will not be linking in the description, or maybe I will, are shocking. So if you are thinking about getting them, don't get them. Just tie your flies directly onto the leader themselves. And then that way you won't have the problem, which I just had. Oh my God. Oh, oh, I can't believe that. I cannot believe that. A fish just took it right there. It could be these yellow, the yellow fish, to be fair, that are feeding. We'll see. What? Worth the try, to be honest. Let's try and get some of these yellow fish. That's better. All right, folks. So, whilst I was prattling around, I could see these fish that were moving and I was chucking these big tiger fish flies at them and they weren't eating it. Now I know that there are species of yellowfish in here. So I thought, why not give a dry drop rig a go? And didn't bother filming on the big camera, that camera there. But I just wanted to show you exactly what the rig is. So I've got a dragonfly dry fly as an indicator. Uh, I hope it, hopefully it focuses. And then from that, I've then got one of my trout nymphs right there. And then from there, I'm gonna go and put another three millimeter bead nymph on um, and see what happens. I've just had this being broken off by something. I don't know whether it was a tiger fish. I don't, I don't know if tiger fish do eat nymphs. Um. Oh, oh that, it went for the dry fly. What the hell went for the dry fly? Oh, <laughs> he hooked something with it. I didn't know what it was and it broke me off. It broke me off. It broke me off. Oh my God. <laughs> um, or a yellowfish, but there's only one way to find out. I can see a few of them tailing right there. So I'm going to tie this up and get started. Yo, I've got one. I've got one on. I can't believe this. I cannot believe this. Don't, 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 I think this is a yellow fish. I think this is a yellow fish. It is, it's a, it's a, it's a yellow fish. <laughs> it's a yellow fish, folks. This is exactly what I was after. I could see them tailing in the pool. It's a yellow fish. Here we go. It's a yellow fish. <laughs> he smoked it. What an incredible fight for, for this species. I mean, they, look at that. Oh, come on. I've been, I've been hearing about these fish and been wanting to catch one for so long. And, um, and it's just happened. It's happened in the most incredible style on a five weight on a, basically it's exact same rig that you would use if you're trout fishing on the test or on the itching in the UK or anywhere else for that matter. And he went for that bottom pink nymph. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That is incredible. Look at the colors on this beautiful thing. Look at the colors on that dorsal. Unbelievable. Okay, we're gonna get the release here. Get the release. Oh, and he's gone. Okay, so we know it works. Let's see if we can get another one and um, yeah, and get a better release for you folks. Yo! <laughs> okay, let's go back over to where the net is. 
early. Oh my god, that didn't take long at all. That did not take long at all. On a five weight, there really is nothing, nothing better that you could possibly want. Could you go panda short to Oh, oh no, 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 oh no. All right, folks. <clears throat> Uh, we are now walking up river, uh, finally walking up river. We've probably made it about 200 yards from the car itself uh, to where we camped. Uh, and then obviously didn't have much time yesterday to fish, but I came down to where I stopped fishing yesterday and carried on fishing today. And I just had fish after fish after fish, yellowfish, catfish, tigerfish, big, small, uh, on different flies, dry flies, droppers, Woolly buggers, you name it, um, they went for it. Poppers. So there's an incredible variety of ways to catch these fish. Um, and obviously there's an incredible variety of fish itself. Anyway, I'm gonna stop blabbering on. We've got a serious march um, up this river and I'm gonna carry on fishing in, uh, in intervals uh, in areas that I think look quite fishy. The aim is obviously to see how much fishing there is. So I've gotta stop practicing about and fishing in one place and get a move on it. All right. Again, a very fishing looking sport which cannot go un cannot go ignored essentially. Let's see what I can pull out with this. I'd be quite surprised if I'm honest. If we don't get some sort of interest out of this hole. Oh there's one. Oh, good one, good one, good one, good one. Yee! <laughs> and the living is easy. Beautiful tiger. Oh. See? The opportunities here are just limitless. Oh, this might be the biggest one yet. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh my god. Okay, let me get this on the big camera because this is not a bad fish. You! Six, six pound tiger does a lot of damage to you. <laughs> <laughs> to your gear. Uh, right, let me just do that one more time. I'll show you real quick. Awesome stuff. Get the release. Yeah. Situated in the Kilimbaro Valley, Kilimbaro North Safaris have access to vast amounts of land. As far as the eye can see, and rivers that meander for miles. You know, much of this is really unexplored, which is what allows it to maintain its wildness and untouched beauty. In a world where our population is over 7 billion. You know, more and more land is seized, wilderness turned into towns and cities and less space for the species that lived before us to survive. Luckily here, that is not the case. You know, this river lower down is actually very shallow and makes it very easy to overlook when you think about what fish it hold and whether you can actually fish it. However, as you've seen, explore a little and apply some theory on how the topography of an area may lead to ideal tiger grounds and sometimes you are rewarded with something incredibly special. This is what happened today and it's a privilege to experience. For those of you that are watching this at home and thinking this is something you really like to do or something that you'd really like to experience, please don't hesitate at all. Uh, follow the links down below and contact me. 
You can either follow the links to the social pages on Instagram or just directly email me. And on the other hand, if you want to directly go onto the Kilimbera fishing page, uh, there you'll find all of the packages that are offered and I'm sure that there is something that can be worked out uh, that can accommodate you coming here and having an experience like this.